Jane, how may I help you? Yeah, good morning. I had a, uh, hang on a minute. I know your phone's ringing. Very uh, good morning. Hi, how you doing? The, um, I'm great, you too. Thank you for asking. Um, yeah, anyway, I had this order, uh, supposedly that I spent $700 deducted from my profile. I don't know what that means. And I, okay. this was the number to call to get it taken care of, so. Right now, your call has been landing to the PayPal support, and my name is Ian, sir, as I told you. What was your name again? Zane. Z as in zebra, A as in apple, Y as in yellow, N as in Nancy. Oh, cool. Nice name. I like it. That's great, sir. And your name, please? Ulysses S. Grant. What? Ulysses S. Grant. Please, will you please tell me your name, please? May I know your name, please? My first name is Ulysses. Ulysses, U L Y S S E S. J U. Ulysses. Sorry for that. Okay. Well, no, it's a great name. It's from the Homeric epics. You know, my parents were were great fans okay. of uh, of Homer. And Ulysses, the great Ulysses was a uh, a prominent figure in the. Um, Iliad and the Odyssey. Okay. So not to be worried about it, so we're surely going to help you with that case, okay? Okay. If it is, if it, if it is deducted, we're surely going to help you with that case. Great. And you get that email today for the purchase? Yes. A few minutes Can ago. Can you please provide me the order ID? Uh, must be a transaction yes, order ID. Yes, KW80K. $700. Okay. And the amount? Well, total. $698.99. $698 dot? And 99 cents, yep. 99 cents. And do you have any PayPal account or not? No, that's what's peculiar. I don't get it. You don't have it. I don't. I don't have a PayPal account, so I don't know how I could be charged by PayPal. Okay. I'm, I'm Did you visit any insecure website? I I don't know. I, I, perhaps I did. I have no idea. I was just asking you because in the last few cases, customer yeah. told that they were not aware. They opened a link over Google, Instagram, Amazon, eBay, or a banking. That's the way they got their personal information compromised. Or a pawn sites also. Well, I, I don't know. I don't remember doing anything like that, but who knows. Or did you use any public Wi-Fi? Oh, sure. I have done that. Okay. Please stay online. Yep. Yeah, hi Andrew. I was on the phone with Zens and or we got disconnected somehow, I don't know. Are you connected with me sure now? Okay, that's that you're facing. Um uh, I had a email that said that my PayPal account had been charged six hundred and ninety eight dollars and ninety eight ninety nine cents. For what it did not say there was an order number, but I I don't have a PayPal account, so I'm thoroughly confused. 
So most probably the notification you received could be from the merchant and PayPal's number is listed there. It was used as the transaction mode of payment. So if you could help me with an order number or the receipt number so we can pull up the records. Uh, sure, let me uh, look it up again. Hang on a second here. Okay, it was, yes. it was PP KW80K. And you received this via email this morning itself, right? Correct. And what is the total amount you said has been charged to? $698.99. Right, with that order number, sir, I see that an online purchase that has been made for a Bitcoin from Coinbase from Tennessee. Anyone staying in Tennessee? No, I, I've never bought a Bitcoin in my life. I have no idea what that's about. So that is a kind of a cryptocurrency, a digital currency that customers are using generally on the internet. So are you reporting this as unauthorized? Uh, yes, indeed. In that case, kindly cross verify your email address too so that we can raise a dispute for you now. Sure. This charge as well. Sure, why did you at protonmail.com? Could you spell that slowly, sir? Yes, V as in voracious, O, o as in obnoxious, I as in insincere, X as in xenophobic, D as in deceitful, E as in essence, D as in dastardly, I as in insincere, I'm, I'm sorry, after the E was, after the E, as in essence? Uh, another another D, D as in uh, dastardly, and then I as in insincere, E as in essence again, U as in untruthful, at protonmail.com. I'm sure you're familiar with protonmail, so. Give me a moment, sir. What? I'm cross-confirming that with you, sir. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. That, that's we as in Victor, O as in Oscar, I as in Indigo, X as in Zalo, D as in David, E as in Echo, D as in David again, I as in Indigo, E as in Echo, T as in Thomas, at protonmail.com, right? Yep, protonmail.com. When did you last log into your PayPal account too? Could you let me know that? I, I thought I had mentioned earlier I don't have a PayPal account, so there's no way I could log into it. So, well, that means someone has established a PayPal account on your identity of which you're certainly not aware of. Well, how can they do that? Because only a, I don't understand. Because how, only can, legit, how can somebody do that? I mean, that's, that should be illegal. Correct, sir. So, this is a pure case of identification theft, what I believe, wherein your identity has been compromised and someone is misusing it on the PayPal's platform. We're going to resolve it for you, and I'm trying to raise the dispute. And Great. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure, sir. And underneath the same ID, but while I'm trying to pull up the records, I see there are three more purchases that were made last week. Are you aware of the other three purchases that were made last week? No, the only notification I got was for this one for seven hundred dollars. Well, six ninety-eight ninety-nine. Well, in this case, let me cross-confirm the other three transactions so that they'll be into your knowledge. And if you say you've not authorized these, we will be reversing it for you as well. Okay. Excellent. The first rate. Thank you. Okay. Let me cross-confirm these with you. Do you have? A pen and paper, if you want to jot down the details for your own personal references, sir. Yep, I do. Just f fire away. One of the transactions that I pulled up is for Texas. That was last week. That an electric bicycle that was purchased for eight eighty five ninety five, sir. Okay. What's the next one? The next one is to 
Arizona and I can do camera. And the third one? That is for 785.95. And the third one was again for a Bitcoin that was purchased from Mexico for $1,499.99. Wow. So these three were made last week and the one that you received was the latest. Wow. I don't, I don't. See where these purchases have been posted or debited so that we can raise the dispute and reverse all these as you are reporting them as unauthorized on this recorded line, correct? Yeah. I wonder if you could confirm the, the bank account that uh, it, it was all charged against. I mean, when you say it was made by a PayPal account, um, Correct. I'm just trying to pull up the records and see where exactly it's been posted. Okay. I just need you to be a little more patient and calm while we're working on this. Okay. Did you observe any of the suspicious activities here in the past? Uh, not to my knowledge, but I, I have no idea what's going on at PayPal. Because, sir, while I've pulled up the records, I see that these have been charged on the PayPal credit loan account. The one that you had established two weeks back. No, I didn't establish any account two weeks ago. This is a PayPal credit loan account which has evidently a credit line and amount of $7,000 on it. Wow. So what other information is in that account that I can verify it's actually me? So we actually don't want any of the personal information to be shared. I'll walk you through the verification process step by step. And the reason we are getting you verified, I need you to understand and realize that this is a credit loan account that has been established of $7,000 using your credentials. This is not a debit card or a credit card that can be canceled that easily. Moreover, the transactions that you're reporting are from all multiple states, and I believe you're in Illinois. That's your primary location, correct? Yep. Now, to get you verified, so we have a physical and an online verification. I'll walk you through both. For the physical, you can simply visit one of our trusted stores. We have associated stores like Walmart. We even have Target. We've got Laos. We've got Rite Aid, also associated. So. You need to visit the store for the physical verification because at the store, sir, we have a tie-up with Apple Securities. As you know, Apple is the secure and the fastest platform. And they have Apple verifications which are indeed used for security measures. And I'm sure you must have heard about these, have you? Oh, yeah. I, I have an iPad that was given to me by my bank. So that's, that's I know, I'm familiar with Apple. In fact, they, my iPad is really locked down by my bank. So I'm, I'm familiar with that. There's a Walmart that's not, not too far from us. All right, so these Apple verifications are indeed used for security measures, sir, because once your identity gets activated with these set of verifications at the associate store, these from our back end assign the Apple technicians who map your real-time location with it, and they also get these transactions encrypted. So by seeing the origin of it, we reverse these transactions one by one, and once we confirm the loan figures back at $7,000, sir, we cancel the account on a permanent basis. It's hardly a five to 10 minutes process, nothing longer, all right? So I need to go to the Walmart and talk to the manager there and explain everything to him? So for the physical verification, the first step is that you need to be connected with us on the same telephonic line. As for a matter of fact, we also need to have a full assurance that it's you who will be getting yourself verified. And as it's V from our back end, as once your identity gets activated, it's V from our back end. We assign the Apple technicians, sir. So we need to be connected to do that with you. And I'll suggest to you, as your case file is still open with me, you can keep the phone line on as you drive down. You can keep the phone beside you by the driving seat. Once you've pulled up at the store's parking lot, be seated in the car for two minutes and let me know that you've reached so that I can walk you ahead. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll have to call you back when I get there because it's it's illegal in Illinois to be to have a, a, a cell phone on while you're driving. Right. 
Victor, I'm not asking you to keep holding the cell phone. You can keep the call on. You can keep the call line on. You can keep it on speaker. You can keep the phone beside you on the driving seat as you're driving. That is what I expect you to do, and I want you to concentrate on your driving as well. Well, yeah, but if a cop, if, hey, if a cop sees that, I'll be in big trouble. I don't want, I don't want to risk that. I'll, I'll just call you when I get to the parking lot. So that's also fine. Or we can do the online verification as well. That can be done sitting back at home, sir. Oh, that would be much better because it's raining cats and dogs here, or should I say, lions and tigers? <laughs> lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, what? Must be, sir. As you say, the weather updates bad there. And yeah, we're having big thunder, big there. thunderstorms going through. You know, that, rem that reminds me of the. Did you ever see the Wizard of Oz? Oh, I love that movie. I saw that when I was a kid. Did you ever see the Wizard of Oz? Yes, sir. You remember the scene where uh, Dorothy is running out and the tornado's coming? Correct. Yeah, that was that was, that a, was, that was a great movie. It was, it was, I do yeah. remember. Yeah, I, I tell you, I, I saw that when I was a kid, and uh, when the Wicked Witch of the West it came out of that house, man, I just, I crapped in my pants. I was a little kid. That was the scariest thing. <laughs> Holy Moses. Great movie, though, great movie. Okay right, right. So let us proceed forward with the verification as well, so that we can wind up this well in time for you. Cool. Okay. Okay, now for the online verification, sir, as we believe there is a breach in your networks, as a layman, there is a possibility you could have used an unsecured web page in the past or a public Wi-Fi too, for that matters. Because a few of the customers did tell us, unknowingly, they had clicked on a link on the social of the banking platforms, and that's actually what got their personal information compromised. And I believe either could be the issue with you in such a case, right? Well, I suppose so, yeah. So to resolve this, I'll be putting you across the PayPal secured server with the help of your cell phone. We see the root cause of the four fraudulent transactions and by the authentication of the dummy transactions you make with us on the secured server of PayPal, we will be able to cancel the account and reverse these transactions. Okay? Great. Yeah. Terrific. A 12 minutes process as well. Okay. The sooner you follow the guidelines, the sooner we resolve it with you. Now, how well versed are you with your smartphone? Is it an Apple or an Android that you use, sir? Well, it's it's what they call a flip phone. It's the manufacturer is Alcatel, and you know it's one of these things where my kids got it for me. It's got big, big letters on it and numbers because my eyesight's not what it used to be. And mm -hmm. by the way, no. I, let me let me give you a hint for for your, you know, as you get older. The secret to to having a happy life is not to get old. Correct. That really sucks. I do getting old that. getting old really sucks. Right. So if you okay. if you have a chance, if you get the chance, don't get old. But anyway, uh, I would need to pray to God for that. Because that's how he created all of us. Yeah, well, he didn't do a very good. He didn't do a very good job. That's all I can tell you. He did a lousy job because they, when you get old, nothing works anymore. I understand. Sir. So don't get I old. I do have an old mother. I, guess. I know. I do have an old mother, and I can see how. You know. Yeah. How old is? How old is your? How old is your mother? about 72 years old. Well, I'm older than she is. I'm 76. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you, you, spend, you spend your whole life accumulating money. I got all this money sitting in the bank, and then you, you can't move around, or you can't travel, you can't do what you want. So it really sucks. Right. You know, anyway, I wish, your, I wish your mother well. I wish your mother well. So anyway... Thank Go, you so much. Thank Go you ahead. So much. Yeah, you're welcome. Right. Now, sir, can you access your mail on this flip phone of yours? Uh, not very easily. It's got this 
Um, I'd rather do it on my computer. My computer's got, I can read my computer much better. Great. So, uh, which computer is it? Which computer machine is it? Is it's it a, or an Apple machine? It's a really nice Dell. It's got Windows 11 on it. I really like it. My kids got it for me. Uh, I've only had it for about three weeks now. It's great. Kindly turn on your computer machine for me, sir. Oh, it's already on. I leave it on all the time. Okay. Which browser do you use on it? Do you use Chrome or Internet Explorer or Mozilla? No, Google Chrome works pretty well. I use that. Oh, right. I've used I've used that new Windows Edge, but I don't I don't like it quite as much. Google Chrome is a little better. It is. It is a better search engine. Yeah, I opened it you up. You opened the Chrome for me? Yep, I did, yep. Right. I need you to type in the search option in front of you, any desk. This is one word, sir. Okay. This is the remote desktop application that you need to install. Okay. I'm spelling that. A is in Apple, N is in Nancy, Y is in Yellow, D is in David, E is in Edward, S is in Sam and K is in Kilo, all one word. Got it. Any desk? Yep. This is the remote desktop application? Yep, it pulls up a website that says better software. Software designed with your wants, needs, and budget in line. And, uh, and underneath that it says start business trial, download now. Click on download now, sir. Okay. Okay. What do you see next, sir? Well, it's downloading a file called anydesk.exe. All right. Now, on the extreme left corner button, mm -hmm. click on that small arrow next to the exe that you see, anydesk.exe, there's a small arrow next to it. Click on that and open. Okay. I did. What do you see next? What is a drop box that's come up on your screen, sir? Yes, a, a box. Yeah, it says uh, any desk, new session, uh, your address, and then a bunch of numbers. Right. So help me with your address. This is your ID. Okay, 351 space 923 space 348. Three times one space after that? No, three five one. Three hundred and fifty one space. Right. Nine hundred and twenty three space. Mm -hmm. Three hundred and forty eight. Right. So keep this page open as it is. So do you see the four arrows on the left? Four lines on the right? Corner. I do, yep. I need you to click on those four lines. Okay. There is a small drop box again that comes up. Beneath settings, do you see set password? Um, I do, yes. Click on set password. Okay. A drop box again opens. Yep. I need you to put in the password all in lower cases. PayPal one two three. PayPal one confirm two three. Okay. And confirm. I need you to confirm the password back again. Okay. PayPal one two three. Okay, I did that. Yep. You did that. I did. Okay. Yep. All right. Give me a moment. Keep the page open as it is, sir. Do you, and if we get disconnected, do you have an alternate number or that's the only one to reach you back, sir? No, that's the only number I got.
Well, it's something popped up says PayPal secured server. Would like right. to would like to transfer files. No, sir. Don't put anything there. No, I'm just reading you what it says. That's okay. Perfectly fine, sir. And now there's a little green arrow in the middle of my screen that says PayPal secured server. We are connected with the PayPal secured server now, sir. Please check your bank accounts and see if any of these transactions they went through or not on your computer machine as we are connected on the PayPal secured server. Okay, I gotta get my iPad out. Hang on a minute. So I want you to check it on your computer machine, sir. Oh, you remember I said that the bank had given us an iPad? I mentioned that earlier in our conversation. And apparently the, ba did, apparently the bank wants us to only use this uh, iPad that they supplied because they're terribly worried about hackers and scammers. So they said, it was particularly those of us who have a considerable amount of money saved, they want us to use this only this uh, iPad and all I have to do is click on a button and I'm logged right in and I see all my transactions. It's it's the coolest thing since sliced bread. Okay. So do you have the app store? I don't what do you mean? Do I have the app store? I don't I don't own a store, no. Uh, so no, do you have the App Store on your iPad, an application? I have no idea. I mean, this is this is the bank's iPad. I don't know what they have on it. Okay. So, do you see a blue icon with the alphabet A written on this iPad? Uh, no, the only thing they have on it is the the bank software to to link into the to the bank. And it doesn't have a Safari as a search engine too. Uh, I don't know if it does. I can't see any other icons. There's just just the one that says Apple River State Bank, which is my bank, and that's what I get into. And uh, could you let me know, sir, is the amount in your bank account that the outstanding, the amount of credit loan, $7,000, the amount is more or less in your account at the present moment? Uh, okay, as of yesterday, when they posted the, the latest interest, by the way, I'm getting 4.5% on this account, which is really outstanding. I remember, you know, it wasn't too long ago when you could barely get half a percent or one percent. But anyway, um, they just deposited, uh, uh, let me look, uh, $858 in interest for the month. And the current balance is $325,968.47. Okay. And uh, the banking institution is? Apple River State Bank. River State Bank. Apple River State Bank, so yeah. Do you use, right. And uh, in the past, were you using Zelle as an option there, sir? Uh, I don't believe that they offer Zelle as an option. Um, I, I don't... Can you try logging with the uh, you know, Apple River Bank on the computer? Uh, well, I can't log in there because there's no, there's no login screen. But they, I don't remember ever seeing uh, Zelle as an option on. It's you got to understand, it's not the biggest bank in the world. I mean, it's it's in Galena, Illinois. By the way, are you familiar with Galena's history? I don't yeah, know. Sure. Oh. Well, good. You know all about the lead mining, then. 
Uh, of course, right. all that lead mining could explain why there are so many idiots in town, but anyway. But it's a, it's a very nice bank. They're, they're very nice people there, and they have only about 20 employees. And I know the president very well, and they, they uh, exist because they have a lot of VIP customers. Right. So do you see the four lines in front of menu on the left, on the right corner? Uh, I see three lines. I don't see four. Yeah, I'm, click on the three lines. Okay, I did, yep. Scroll the screen up. Oh, you can see my screen then. That's really cool. I didn't know you could do that. That's outstanding. Okay, what do you want me to look at now? Click on online services. Okay. Click on online banking. Okay. Scroll the screen down. Okay. How far do you want me to go? You still there? I'm with you, sir. Okay, I thought you disappeared for a minute there. Got awfully quiet. Yeah, because that's not where we wanted you to be, sir. Click on the back arrow on the top corner. Okay. So just leave your mouse for a moment. Sure, I mean, you can control it, I don't care. So for general shopping, do you use a master or a visa? Uh, when I go to the store, you mean to buy stuff? Yes, for your groceries and. Yeah, I have a I have a debit card that I use. You have a debit card, and that is it a visa or a master? Uh, well, I I actually have two of them. I have a a visa and I have a master card also. Okay. So we're going to try authenticating you with the dummy transaction across with the American Express. That is a specific concern. Well, I don't have American Express. The American Express is one of our specific concerns. I'll walk you ahead what needs to be done. So okay. We're going to get you verified with the digitalized code with the MX Gold Sparkle. I don't, I don't like American Express. I don't want anything to do with them. They don't, they, they're not a good company. That's the only banking institution you use, sir, or do you have any other bank as well? No, just the Apple River State Bank. Why would I need another one? And they're really close and they, you know, they, they give me uh, refunds when I use an ATM machine someplace else. They refund the charge, which is really nice. Whereabouts are you located? Hello? I think it's phone I'm with you, sir. Oh, it gets, no, I'm with you. it gets really quiet all of a sudden. I didn't know what was going on. So anyway, where, whereabouts are you located? To San Jose, California, sir. Oh, nice. Very nice. You ever, do you get to travel much out there? Along, you ever take the... Uh, the uh, California Zephyr up the coast of California? Yes. It's a, it's a great train ride. It's terrific. It is. It is. Sure. Right. The scenic beauty is just wonderful there. Yeah, it's amazing.
I know I-95 runs up along the coast there on, on the west coast. And uh, how are they coming, fixing that bridge collapse in, in Los Angeles? Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, how are we coming on canceling all this stuff? Can't be that hard. We're trying to do that. So we are trying to do that. Okay, well, you, you go ahead and do that. I got to go take a whiz. So I'll be right back. Ooh, somebody's taking over your machine. That's not very nice. Whoa. Yeah, I believe your networks are still not stable. And because of the breaches, someone has still on your computer machine. Well, I'll, I'll shut it off immediately then. I'll, sh I'll shut it off. I'll shut it off immediately, and then we won't have to worry about it. But I, I do appreciate your help. Although I, I'm hoping that you can uh, cancel out that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he caught on towards the end there. Oh, well, that was fun. Kept him going for quite a while. <laughs>